Oof. All right. The uh, most of the little details of these miniatures are finally done. Honestly, I am a. I think I'm a fan of how this little exoskeleton turned out. I think it fits when they see the movie, the the miniature move around. Uh, it, it's it's a smaller part of it, but I think at the end of the day, it's gonna be it's gonna be big. I think it'll be cool, and I think it's interesting. These are almost they're both cloakers, but it feels like two. It's almost like two different species of cloaker. Um, let me see if I can actually get this guy like propped up. So like it's almost like two different species of cloaker, right? Uh, but they're like of similar coloration. Obviously, this guy's gonna have a more tanned bottom, where this guy's wings have that whiter coloration to it. But like. I think, in, in, in there's the tail. There's also there's also the tail. Uh, this one has like skin uh, all the way through, where this one has this guarded area. So it's like it's a more aggressive style, where this one can be um, trained. It can be uh, what's the word? Um. Basically, it, it can it can be uh, it, it can be captive. I guess I can't really think of the word. Uh, but you know, it can it can become docile, and this kind of would show like <laughs> that it's now no longer as combative. It doesn't need this like this carapace thing going on where this with this one's tail where this one has the exposed exoskeleton this one has a softer belly oh, nice this one has a softer belly you can see where its belly is but like it's not as uh as easily available this one has that like more riggedness to it so like they're both cloakers but this is like the difference between a wolf and a dog almost Um, anyways, I just, I don't know. I ranted. I thought that was cool. I feel like that's an interesting thing to me. Having two of the same creature, but they're vastly different from each other. Of course, like I said, this one is going to be, it's going to have a house branding to it. One of the, um, one of the drow houses, probably the main drow house. And other than that, uh, we're about to throw the shade on. And throw a few highlights and we're, we're done, baby. Alright, let's get the shade rolling. I guess actually I should also probably share some feeling with this. The shade might actually be the scariest part to me now. Uh, because... Shading essentially the the shadow washes any any sort of watery wash. Its goal is to get down into like crevices and little um like creases and stuff. So for this guy, I think it'll turn out really well, where it'll kind of get in the ridges of the wings. But this one has a very flat uh, wave to it. Its its wings don't have a lot of um, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of crevices and creases to them. They're, it's bending, like it's in a flapping motion. This one almost looks like it's more landing. It has that, that Batman pose where its wings are spread out, but it's like gliding downward towards its prey. So like, I think the crevices, I think the shadow wash will work well here. The only thing that scares me is over these flat surfaces, if I can keep it to a minimum or contain it to a good spot for it. 
I think it will work well with the face because it has a lot of little grooves and stuff. Um, and I think it'll work well with the abdomen, but this top area is where I'm nervous about. Where on the counter side of it, I could see where these guys, the bottom portion, is where I'm most nervous about. It could turn out perfectly fine, and it probably will, but these are the spots that I'm gonna be eyeballing the most. I'm gonna make sure, or I'm gonna try to make sure that the wash doesn't pull up in any specific areas and you know start to start to ruin the look at all but i'm hoping it gets into these little these little wear and tears to kind of give that that little extra depth all right now i've said my piece on the shadow wash
All right, so all of our shading is complete. It's just drying now. Uh, you saw me sitting here going over and inspecting uh, the shading where it's sitting, making sure that it didn't pull. There was a moment on this guy where a mistake was made and I used way too much shading. Uh, let's see, was it this one? I think it was this guy, but it pulled up everywhere, actually. Yeah, I think it was this guy. Um, it pulled up everywhere. It was starting to become too much. I grabbed another brush, tried to soak it up some. That didn't really do a whole lot. But you saw me kind of dab it down with a paper towel, and I think that ended up kind of helping it. It kind of emphasized this exoskeleton going into the... Uh, going into the flaps of the wings so it turned out all right but in case you ever do make a mistake and use too much use too much wash in one area like you can be quick about it grab a paper towel you should have extra laying beside you if you're going to paint anyways and just kind of try to soak up as much of it as you can typically it'll stay in the recesses that you originally wanted to wanted it to go in um and it'll kind of turn out to have a decent effect for you. So, you know, hopefully learn. I felt like I was fairly quick with it. I recognized it. I recognized when I was getting overwhelmed with it. Uh, but it's, it's as simple as that. So we are now at the point where we are letting the wash dry. As always, the wash takes longer to dry than your typical paints. So I'm letting it sit here for a little while. What I'm going to do here in a second, once I'm done explaining things, is I'm going to dry brush my Castle Gray over some of this dark stone to give it a little bit of wear and tear. Cause I really like the way this looks right now, but I think that'll give it more of a natural feeling to kind of round it off. And then the bases will be complete. Once that's done, I'm going to go through and highlight the tops of the wings with some more of the indigo so that it, it'll it emphasize that uh, shadowy area, or it should at least, and then it will kind of get rid of any of the shadows that are on the outermost layers. However, for this guy, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything else other than giving him a varnish. Because if I try to do any sort of highlights, really, it won't do anything. It'll just take away from uh, from the shadow wash that I just did. So that's the contrast to all these flat, smooth surfaces. You can see where it really caught all the definition of the face. And it kind of caught these little shoulder areas. And it catches, like, the uh, mandibles. Uh, you can see where it really caught the abdomen. Now the abdomen is very detailed. It's very fleshed out. So, like, I think ultimately this guy's done where he's at. I'm not a big fan of how the wash went across the smooth areas. Uh, but we reached a point where I couldn't really argue not going across everything just to make sure it catches. And still give it somewhat of a smooth um, overall texture. If you only go over little bits and pieces of the mini, I feel as though it, it puts too much of an emphasis on it. If that area is darker than the rest of it, I'd rather it all kind of keep a somewhat uh, level level levelness to it. I can't think of words today. This is tough. It'd keep an overall um, layer about it. So I think, anyways, it kind of makes this a darker color, a darker blue, um, and it kind of gives it that under dark, mysterious, traveling in the dark feeling to it. So overall, I don't think the wash was bad on it, and it, you know, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna portray exactly what I want it to. All right. Let's go ahead and dry brush these bases and finally be finished with them. And then it's on to a little bit of dry brushing for the smaller cloakers. Of course, so I mentioned the 
uh, going over the top of the wings with this blue. I'm then also going to do some dry, dry brushing on the spinal cord and the tail to give that some depth as well. And then finally, the top piece is going to be for the eyes, which I've been sitting here thinking what I want to do for the eyes for a while. Um, pretty much for the last two days, there's two different styles of orange that I want, kind of yellowish actually too. Um, we have our Fire New Orange and we have our Phoenix Flames. And I feel like they're relatively the same, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint one of them one color and one of them the other color. And if I determine that I like one more than the other, then I will go back and I will repaint the other one's eyes the color I choose. So, one of each. Why not? Alright. Let's get to finishing these minis. Plan 
You always felt bored. 